he's got to make plays once that happens. That plus the infest bombs, that will be what buys time for Naga. If they get some good kills, potentially, but with the way the laning setup is going, otherwise they're going to be in trouble heading forward. There's going to be the Earth Spike coming in. They have the Whirling Death, and it's going to be Arrow about to fall. One more right click, Fly will get the job done, and Miracle still very tanky, and Yapsura cannot do anything but just watch. As Era decided to come back around and go through the mid lane instead of heading up and around. They're smoked up. Flying. He's not actually a lunatic, but no. it, it looks like he is if you don't understand the matchup. Crit and Moon sitting ready to go with Chronosphere. They'll jump up, but they will find Kizu in that mid lane. Arrow will sail in, and they're going to get this kill more than likely with Starstorm to come out with the Earth Spike. And it is going to be Crit getting the kill, which again, if he's already got Arcanes, it's very important that he can finish off that Aghanim Scepter as they'll try to take this tier 1 tower down. Spiraling out. So we're going to see Miracle get to that point. He's far farming solo, but here comes Yapsor, the infest bombs that you were talking about. Miracle might be in trouble here. Smoke screen. He's on the edge of it. Chronosphere Chrono comes in. What a nice fight. We're ready. Still taking damage, though. So the tricks of the trade come out. He's in trouble. He will end up falling. Even through the combo, the Chronosphere and the Lion Stun were stacked quite a bit there. That's going to cost them. Now a secondary cloud comes out. They get that kill as well. Moon trying to stand his ground. They have detection on Sindarin? Absolutely. Yapsor, he doesn't. But, well, here comes No-Tail looking for Yapsor. Sentry's been popped down. Crit in trouble still. He'll end up falling. No-Tail probably needs to leave. Moon and him can't do this on their own. With four heroes live for escape, I think this is maybe probably back out time. But there's the bash coming in, and Aerith's going to be able to walk away. And cancel TPs, and, you know, it doesn't go necessarily go according to plan. But find crit mid. Yeah, he TP'd in trying to help out, but he's going to get some help as Fly throws up the air spike. He's able to get out of the smoke screen. He's able to leap away as well. Miracle coming in now. Yapsor might be next. Yapsor will go down, TP out, and retreat as they look for a bit more hunting. Era, he does have the armlet available. The song covers his retreat. And finger so close. And he will Division right now. Arrow hits him. It hits Arrow. And Moon's going to come in and he's got the Chronosphere ready. He'll pop it up. Starstorm not agging him. Scepter upgraded. But he still gets the double hit. The toggle comes out in time. He's looking for an infest and he will find it. But it won't be for long. He's got rage. No, it's gone. And there's the kill from Crit using, I believe, his right click to get the job done. Observer warded on the hill. Saw him moving. And then the punish. And miracles and get off the call in time but the smoke screen on top you will set back up in one more stuns coming out from they Cinderin. cannot kill him they really are like we need to leave he hasn't even used the yule Arrow. scepter mod yeah they don't even need it he'll use it now and try to find the skill into kizu and they will grab it he can look for more now everyone's retreated but they did that wall taking roche that that shows how much harder the game is going to get miracle continuing to accelerate his farm aether lens coming next strong especially with the hurricane pike this, I, I just like having Morphlings being involved early on in the game because you know, a lot of the time heroes, they, they don't use, oh, Yule's onto Sindarin and he's probably going to die here. As the arrow's coming in, it's going to hit. Raindrop blocked a little bit of damage, but then he'll fall to Moon's right. 16 no Bloodstone kill. charges. It's a, a slow ramp up here for Miracle. But he's heating up. And he's got his Radiance and uh, pretty much right now. He's going to buy it and send it out. Have that recipe fly out in the courier. Wave form, adaptive strike Yapsor is probably dead. That smoke screen was optimistic, but unfortunately, it's just how it goes. Yeah, still under the tower and, and still fading. And down he falls. Tanky. Void with a vanguard and the Radiance Evasion. Uh, Morphling, who is just has the Aegis to work with right now. And Timbersaw with reactive armor. I don't. I don't know if they can kill anyone during that infest bomb. Maybe a support. They do find Moon with all five heroes. That's good. That'll get the job done, but now Escape Gaming just want to get out. I'm not sure if that's going to be happening as Miracle will at least chop down the axe using his Chakraman. Of course, is willing to Timber Chain to do so. Replicate into the base. Maybe if he's feeling ballsy. I'm not sure how good. No, oh, no Tail wants to, but Miracle did not. No Tail. Quick loss of the Aegis. Miscommunication here from OG. Everyone else is back, I feel like. And there's the Hurricane Pike away, but here we go. The Earth Spike coming in, Adaptive Strike, Finger. Air is in trouble, gets hexed up, and they'll bring him down. Dead for 48 yeah, with seemed, the buyback. Seemed the like least. they were not on the same page, but they have the firepower to get the kill anyway. A key hero for Escape Gaming on the sidelines. He can buy back, but having to buy back just puts you further in the hole against an already superior late game lineup. And OG not looking to let it go that late. We have yet to see Crit jump in with the... 
He's agging himself to Starstorm, and he might do so now as Kizu gets caught out. He does have his blade mail on. There's they the fire have blast. Chrono. Might use it here. I think they're just gonna patiently hold it. Focus on killing off buildings. No tail up in the base. The tier three will fall. OG taking care of business against Escape Gaming now as they lead by 10k gold, 10k experience. Looking very confident. Yeah, that hurricane pike almost kills Cinderin. The Timber Chain might have to do the job. This huh. is the chakra too. Cinderin like this is, is the story of Cinderin. You get in jiving, and he just has to commit to the death at that point in time, I suppose. That was like a. That was just the, uh, that little moment represents. She is the superior farming carry in general, but she's still behind the Timber and the Morphling. She has the manta, which will make things a little bit easier now. Oh, send her when. What you doing? Uh, that's a dead ogre. Again, 45 seconds on the sidelines. And another hero coming in. They're going to blink call. They will find two on this. Miracle and fly. The chrono, though, is going to come in and fly. He will die to the Riptide song to stop this from going any further. They might try to reset. Go in with another blink call. No, they decide against it. Kizu backs away. Time walk in. Timber chain misses. And it, the replicate is ready though, and they're gonna find the Yule setup, and that's the Infest as well. And they have that life to inside, and there's the good blink strike. Time dilation, they're just going in anyways, and they blow up the Ricky. Chop is there, but Miracle going hard in the paint onto Kezu will be next. No tell assisting as well. A massacre in the escape gaming base. Two for three overall, but that's when escape gaming gets the jump with a two-hero call. OG. 23 Bloodstone charges on Miracle. And Rising, he does miss his chain here, though. And oh, he's, he's still going, going in. in. He may have to Bloodstone Suicide. He probably should waveform in. Timber Chain out. Now it looks like they will get the kill with Era. No Till and Era going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This one, I don't believe Era can win. He instantly respawns, though. Calculated, it Did looks he TP like. In? He's already into the fight again. Waveform through and Era is going to fall. Miracle is literally already in the base again. He had a zero-second death timer there, Mott. Oh, my God. Blink and you'll miss it. Uh, I did miss it. And uh, this will prompt them. It looks like they're going to slowly but surely try to defend this. The buybacks were on, of course. They're two uh, cores. Two carries, yeah. And here we go. And Kazu caught out. And Fest is there. He's going to have to back away. This range. Axe down. No tail looking for more. He does get netted up. Hurricane Pike cooling now, but he's tanky enough to survive this. There. The finger commit on the ogre will bring him down to an arrow. Oh, no. Likely to be next. And that's going to be Era down for 75. The song allowing Quickfit to escape back to the base. But that means that, well, Yapso is going to get caught with the Chrono. The Axe will buy back, but it's just the two. Axe as well as Quickfit on the Naga Siren as they lose not one set of racks, but more than likely two. And perhaps the game here, LD. Escape Gaming is having a really rough group stage here. Just the one game they snatched away from Navi, and they will now drop to one and nine, I believe. I think so. It's not looking good for the squad. Well, uh, again, I, I guess you could take solace in that you played better, but I don't think the Nagas Iron. Over the course of this series, LD, what what did the Nagas Iron accomplish? I don't think. I think the hero is.